Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Knickknack Twin here, and I just have an end of the week haul for you. And let's get started. We're gonna go real quick. Can I have my cat here, Storm? Don't mind the cat poop in the background, but it is on a vintage cat placemat. Is that geranium? Sorry, she's knocking up against my hand. I haven't shown you her in a while. Anyways, oh my goodness, my brother and I pre-ordered these mugs from a low, um, Tiki Land Trading. I always say Tiki Land Trading. Yeah, that's it. No, I always say Tiki Island Trading. Tiki Land Trading. Oh my gosh, trading. Long story short, ordered these in February and now it's October. We finally got them. Now they were $65 each, free shipping. Um, I paid a total of 130 and were they worth it? Oh my goodness, I think so. I just love it. They're supposed to be like dull whips, so baby whippy. It's Tiki Tony. And man, I'm not gonna lie, I love a lot of his mugs, but you know, I've ordered like the, the Baby Yoda one, quote unquote, and it took a year and a half, but that was during the pandemic. Anyways, long story short, I have the the pair of them. He made two colors. This is teal. I was going to sell it, the teal one, but I know it's like, I want to have a boyfriend and I just want to have Dole Whips or even just a friend. I have friends. I could share a Dole Whip like with these cuties. So I definitely want to keep it as a pair, to be honest. So, and you know what? Even though you wait and other people have had bad experiences, I'd buy again, just I don't want to pre-order anymore. And yeah, Tiki mugs are really expensive. I'm trying to pare down, but I did order these in February. Came with stuff, well, I mean a postcard, and I love that they always come with a cocktail card. What's great is I have two because I ordered two. So it looks really good. Yep, I want to make all that, have a little Dole Warp, Dole Warp, Dole Whip party. So yeah, would y'all come to my Dole Whip party? That would be fun. All right, let's go with the only thing I found thrifting at two thrift stores this week. This is Boots Randolph, a famous saxophone player. Live at the Stardust, this is a VHS, and it was 54 cents total. And he signed it. What I don't like about the VHS is it's printed on the wrong side. Like, this is correct. Well, I don't know. It's just weird, right? Anyways, there's another guy on the back, Danny Davis, Nashville Brass. I didn't see any of these listed. And a lot of his uh, Boots Randolph, I haven't looked up this guy, but a bunch of Boots Randolph's signatures, you know, CDs or cassettes, only sold for like 12, 13. But I have two signatures on a video. I'm going to list this high and let it fly. We'll see. I got 54 cents in it. I can sit all day on that. Giggity. Anyways, oh my goodness, this is a family show, y'all. Or is it? Um, this reminds me of Chuck Maggioni's, you know, flugelhorn, if you will. I would love to pop this in the VHS player, VCR, if you will. But uh, I ain't got the time up for that. But yeah, we'll see how that does. I think listening for 100 would be a little bit too much. The reason why I say... It could be worth good money because I sold a book of his, like a, a music book. I bought it for $2 and I sold it for almost 100 It was like 80 something. I took an offer. I got, I made at least 50 bucks profit, if not 60 or 70 So that's why I picked this up. Now, this is what I bought online. They had these listed for $18.99. If y'all know what Tim Hortons is... It's like a Dunkin', but it's like Canadian and some northern states. Well, I went to Tim Hortons in Toronto this summer, and I didn't get to buy a mug. So I saw this was this year. They have a little Halloween bucket, and instead of um, munchkins or donut holes, they call them Timbits, and I just think it's so cute. And I said, I, I took it was free shipping, so I said, would you take ten ninety nine? So eleven dollars total I spent on this plastic bucket. But it's just so cool. Look at that. It's got some French on it. I just now realized this, actually, that it's different. I love it even more. But um, I didn't buy a lot of Halloween stuff. I'm trying to pare down, but Halloween is my favorite holiday to collect now. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to... I just wanted it for 11 bucks. Okay, it's so cute. 
and one day it'll be vintage. Isn't that funny how I said that? All right, my last part of the haul, I don't want you to skip because it won't take long. These are mini brands that have been sitting in this box for six months. I've added to them. Basically, you can watch some of my other mini brands unboxings. So every once in a while, I splurge on them. And they had a Series 3 ball. I don't know. Some of these, half of this is Series 3 and half of this is Series 4. I think these are Series 4. But um, in here, this is the main winners. These were $10 each, but they're foodies. And it's like miniature fast food brand. And you know I collect fast food advertising. So... This was 30 bucks. Was it worth it? Probably not, but I still love it, and it was the thrill. And I decided not to unbox it because, um, yeah, I was just in the dumps, to be honest. And I'm like, this, these have been sitting here. I don't want to set up the camera. My goodness, I'm ranting. Let's get on with it. Sorry. So this is either Series 3. I think a lot of this is Series 4 because a lot of it was money-related in Series 4. Um, I, I got this color stay. I thought this was ice cream. Nope, it's collagen. Would not taste as good. And I did like this. It's a little mini American Express. Oh, I can't show you my card. No, I'm just kidding. A tiny little American Express, you know, card reader. Tap to pay. Isn't that cute? And it had a little... They have, like, you know, a checklist. Well... It was a checklist for different types of money wads. So I got a Benjamin Franklin and Andrew Jackson, ew. But, um, yeah, I don't know if, like, oh, I think I got one of these. The Series 4 was, like, $9, but I think I got a good deal on the Series 3. I think it ended up being, like, $4 or four fifty dollars half off. But let's get to the rest before we get to the main star, the foodies. Mentos gum. I love how fruit-flavored. It looks, oh my God, that was stupid. I don't have my checklist to see what I have and that's just gonna be another day. But, oh, I love me some cheddar poppers. Oh, those are so good. I would make a smoothie with this. I don't like getting a bunch of these little boxes because they're just real cheapy and sometimes they're boring. I mean, I like a nice wheat thin and I do need to in, up my fiber intake. Ooh, jammers, tropical punch, love that for me. I do love stoked top. And I love this. Love this. I love how the bags have, like, you know, like, some cushion in there. But I never heard of this. Switzels drumstick squashes. That's how my brother would say squashes. Original raspberry and milk flavor. That's got to be from the UK. With that O-U-R. <clears throat> Look, I got me some ore gel. I thought this was rare because it's gold. It's not. I didn't find anything rare. Rude. But, yeah. I wish it came with a little tube. But I love this, the little dum-dums. I don't think I have that yet. Or maybe I do. Limited edition. Look at me. Look at me go. Living the life. All right. So anyways, if I have doubles, I can give to my brother Aaron because he collects them too. And we switch and swap. And I can also turn them into magnets, which I would love to use. So anyways, they end up always coming out to at least a dollar or two each. Or a dollar or a dollar fifty. And um... It's the thrill of it. But, oh, and I got a shopping cart, but I wasn't going to put that together. So that's a little bonus. All right. Here is one of the three balls of foodies. This is a Subway takeout box. I'm sad that it's just a box and you can't open it, but it's still part of the collection now. You're coming home with me. This is Itsu Detox Miso Soup. I don't really like miso soup. Okay, so in the checklist for the foodies, oh, I have to show you, because y'all can see, did he get one of these? Look at the foodies. It's got lots of Sonic, but not just Sonic, lots of different types of drinks. And from fast food, no, I didn't get any gold ones. And they kind of categorize it. It's kind of, I wanted the White Castle stuff the most. And, yeah, I just thought some of y'all might want to see this if you've never seen them. Their main clientele are probably tweenagers, like, fifth grade, third grade to what have you. But I say it's all ages, except for younger. Don't choke on these. See, look at the White Castle and 
Yeah. Subways. Anyways. <clears throat> Thought you would like to see those. Oh, and here are the sides, y'all. Uh, of course, I didn't get all of these, but if I see any for cheap, I'm going to... I just hope that I find a lot of these at a thrift store. That's what I always say. I don't need to spend $30 now. I'll find them at a thrift store one day or a flea market, just like you see the Shopkins. Well, let's keep going in this egg. I have a cola from Subway. So I got drinks, drinks, drinks. And crispy, not crunch each. Gone. Carl's Jr. So, was this worth $10? I think so. I think so. I don't know. Maybe not. All right. Let's get to it. I Unfortunately, what I'm mad about is, spoiler alert, I am going to get some doubles, but that means my brother can have them sometime or we can trade. TGI Fridays. Um, 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 um. Gosh. Not dumplings. Well, they are dumplings. Look, sir, Eat. Beautiful. Don't tell me what to do. No. But look at the little packets. Oh, we love that. Okay, I loved this egg. Carl's Jr. Curly fries. I mean, Hardee's. Kind of the same thing. Aren't they owned? And the one sub I got was Meatball Sub. And y'all, that's the only sub I would get most of the time. I was so glad to get this. See, this second one was worth it. And the piece of resistance. Oh, I don't know. Did I just sound stupid? Oh, yes, it is. A White Castle cheeseburger, and I buy them frozen. Frozen, thank you very much. So was this one worth $10? 10 out of 10, yes it was. Well, I don't eat sushi, but it's still cute. Sush. All right, last one, but certainly not least. Drum roll, please. Booty mini brand. See, I got another dumpling, which is cool. Um, hope I don't break this, but look, you can actually close these. So that's what I love that. Oh, did I break that? No, I didn't. And look, I was so glad I got this one. Chili cheese coney, that's what I get there. They're so salty, so not worth it. Because they're like $5 now. $5 foot longs, but it's a $5 foot long coney. I'm so glad I got this. It's a mini. I want to say it's a Mai Tai, quote unquote Mai Tai. Holy cow, y'all. I'm so excited. I just was wondering what this was the other day. Now that I'm in the light, they're ice cubes. Y'all... This was worth it. Look, I got another curly fry and another soda pop. So I got two soda pops and two curly fries. Wait, were they curly? Yeah. So I got three doubles, but hey, that's good for my brother. You know what, Aaron? We'll do a trade. I'm not giving food away for free. Are you kidding? I'm just kidding. Oh, look at that. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this becomes the thumbnail. Or maybe this guy, Boots. Boots the house down. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. What are you going to be for Halloween? Because tomorrow's Halloween. What are you going to be? Thanks for watching. Love y'all. Bye.